Factors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sassa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. It's hard to believe the 22nd of June. How do you like that, man? Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. This is a freaking awesome card, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 127. NASDAQ up 76. S&P's up 21. Gold contract up a, a buck trading at uh, 1839 an ounce. We have silver down 37 cents, $21.47 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 357, 105.95 an ounce. Platinum down 14 bucks, 925 an ounce. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note trading up one point plus six ticks at a price point of 117. The 30 year up a full two points plus 25 ticks. At 136.05, the 10-year right now is yielding 3.14. The high for the year thus far is 3.46. In the last three months, the low is 2.2. High is 3.4. We're trading 3.1. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now up, uh, down 285 ticks. 104, 150. Euro at 105. Yen 136 and the British pound 122 to 1 US dollar. We'll get over and take a look at the S&P, folks. Bottom line. We had a higher price. We had the futures down, rejected lower price out here this morning. Uh, bottom line, we'll see uh, if it can hold price. You got, uh, you're up a buck 83 right now. You're trading 376. Uh, you're going to have a, mm, yeah, we won't have a contraction of volume because you did 76 million yesterday. You should do more than that. Now, the problem is, of course, you're coming into 170 million on the way down. But, you know, we'll see where the S&P can hold out. The, not, the, Indice to keep your eye on is uh, the NDX 100, three Qs. Three Qs yesterday, bottom line, they gave a nice tell. The tell there was that, you know, the bottom line, it got over the high that was out here on the 11th of June, closed underneath it. It's going to have lighter volume again today, but that's the number you want to keep your eye on here. That number is 282.34, and right now we are at 283.04. So right now you're at 67 cents above it and more than like, well, we'll see whether it's gonna stay above it. Gold, gold contract did reject lower price out here. That being said, uh, bottom line, it can't get the impetus to go higher. Uh, we've been going sideways for quite some time. We've got to 18.24 today, you get 139,000 contracts. That's, you know, that's light contract volume. And that's what you want when you're basically rejecting lower price. You know, we, we coming against, uh, 200,000 contracts as well as uh, 181. So the setup's there. A um, little frustrating when you go sideways for such a long period of time, but that is what it is. And we go to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. What you have with King Dollar out here is 
You got a high today of 104.947. We are at a low of 103.858. So you're kind of laying out a little doji here. This is a tough one, man. I mean, the bottom line, every t the, the swing high you want to keep your eye on is 105.005. Um, it's surprising that it didn't want to try to get the lower price today because we were up, they're selling it all morning, and then guess what, though? The bottom line is that we can't even get under the swing low that was generated out here last Wednesday, you know? And the big swing low is 103.418. The way this is set up here is like, okay, you know, you came down, but gets, you didn't even get to the, you know, last Thursday's low. And when that happens, that's like, okay, uh, that thing wants higher price. And if it wants higher price, this market's gonna take a few more conniptions because um, the bottom line, this market can't stand that dollar when it goes to higher price. We're still in that ABC, we, well, we got multiple ABCs on the way down. Uh, you gotta love, Powell is out there testifying, and you know, I was, when I was just talking to Jacob upstairs, I was, we were talking about the aspect of, you know, it all, when CEOs come up with bad news, they always start with like small bad news, it just keeps getting worse. That's how it seems to go. They just let out little by little. Well, Powell uh, finally uh, gave his most explicit acknowledgement to date that steep rate hikes could dip, could tip the U.S. economy into recession, saying it is possible and calling a soft landing very challenging. There you go, folks. Bottom line is that it, it's a no-brainer, man. I mean, the, the, the differential, okay, the differential here, and I don't quite know how they're going to get a handle on it, is so dramatic, it's unbelievable. So picture this, you know, for us that have been around for a couple cycles here, the bottom line is that when, you know, when they charged higher with inflation in the 70s, 70s and 80s, right, the difference was we were starting off at a much lower number. And I'll give you an idea. First house I bought, Triple Decker in South Boston, okay? Bought that in 71. It was 71. Yeah, 71. Paid 14.5%. But guess what? The Triple Decker was only $14,000. I lived on the second floor. I had a sub shop on the first floor. I rented the third floor for $250. So the bottom line is that, you know, I was a kid, that's all I was used to anyway, but that was a good investment. Now it's worth a million dollars, right? My point is, is that now we are talking high rates on high numbers. When we had high rates on something that's 14,000 for three units, it's like, are you kidding me? And I mean, you know, yeah, that's South Boston, but the reality is you could have probably been in Wellesley on Newton, and yeah, you would have been paying fifty or sixty thousand for a single family, but you're still fifty or sixty, and now those houses are like two or three million. You get my point. They have to try. For, I, I suspect what they're going to do is this: they got to up, up, up on the rates, crash the economy. Now they're not telling us. Really hit it. Then they're going to go down, down, down on rates because, I mean, what do you do? I mean, how how do you pay? you know, 10, 12, 14% on millions. It's impossible, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 100. NASDAQ's up uh, 63, 75, rather. S&P's up 17. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 100. Nasdaq's up 62. S&P's up 17 and a half. And just to give you a few more quotes uh, from Powell. So his first, uh, you know, sentence out there is, uh, uh, let's see, saying that, uh, saying the steep rate hikes could tip the U.S. economy into recession, saying one is possible and calling for soft landing, very challenging, okay? Now watch the other risk. This is what they're facing. The other risk, though, is that we would not manage to restore price stability, and that would allow this high inflation to get entrenched in the economy. Well, it, it's already entrenched. Um, we can't fail on that task. We have to get back to 2% inflation. 2% inflation, folks, feels like... Um, like Disneyland, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, it doesn't even seem possible now. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how this shakes out. Uh, inflation has ob obviously surprised to the upside over the past year, and further surprises could be in store. He's setting us up, man. Well, he's not setting us up. We know what's going on. The, the difference is they're claiming that, you know, man, they're asleep at the switch. That's the bottom line. That's, that's the bottom line. And it... it I'm not just blaming Powell either. This goes, this, this, for all of us, this goes all the way back to Greenspan, folks. This is, so picture the, you know, particularly, you know, we're in the gold market. And I remember, I mean, so many times, you know, at gold shows, you know, the gold bugs always were a continual basis that, hey, man, you just can't keep printing money. You just can't keep printing money. And as uh, man Duffy says in the den, Remember Ben Bernanke, helicopter money. When you look at the history, the history, and, and this is where the gold bugs uh, were absolutely right in the context. Okay, so when you do, you know, the numbers, meaning that how much money gets put in the economy as to how much it affects the GDP because of the, of the amount of debt that's in the economy, okay? It is very, as we have continued up this path of more money, more money, more money, fiat money, by the way, just print them. What has happened is that as they're trying to push the economy up, every new batch of money pushes it at a very smaller level than if we go all the way back, you know, to 1985, whatever that is, okay, 80, 85. And as at the beginning, yeah, you could push it up a lot. Now you can't because the, the fact of the matter is it goes back to the debt levels and paying those debt levels 
in the marketplace. So, you know, so the bottom line is that we're going into recession. And, you know, the real question is, what type of recession is it? Is, is it a recession that the amount of jobs go are so quick uh, there was a couple of articles yesterday, so check this out. This is, you're gonna start seeing this, and you're gonna start seeing this in a big way. There's a huge amount of corporations that were out there saying that, or not saying, looking for so many people to work. Well, what has happened is that because this has gone on so long, a lot of these corporations, they're just doing fine. And they're saying to themselves, hey, I might as well stop pulling back now. I don't think I need as many people as I needed as I thought I needed because now things are gonna slow down. So we're gonna start seeing that kind of go through the economy. Uh, what just happened literally an hour ago is that J.P. Morgan, uh, no, is, is, is Morgan Stanley or J.P. Morgan? Um, one second, hold it. It's one of them. What they did is they're gonna lay off uh, J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan, man, okay. So picture this, J.P. Morgan is laying off hundreds of home lending employees and reassigning hundreds more this week as rapidly rising mortgage rates drive down demand. To the total effect will be 1,000 U.S. workers with about half moved to different divisions within the bank. Okay, so this is kind of the same deal that when I started the program with. You know, you don't go to J.P. Morgan like for a few years. You go to J.P. Morgan for a career, right? So you can imagine what's happening here. You get 500 people that just laid off, that's it. Now the other 500 people, they say they're moving around, but that's gonna be one of those deals. Yeah, they're moving around till what? Till, till another part of the economy starts collapsing and they don't need them there. So that's serious business, man. There's no doubt about it. Those are, those are big jobs, um, you know, and it's sad, but uh, whoops, wrong one. What did I just do here? Okay, did I hit the wrong? How did I do this? Sorry about this, folks. Okay, there it is. Okay, I got it. But you get the gist of it. The gist of it, I, I'm trying to think myself. This, you know, so because our recessions have been so light, I'm trying to think of the recession that we actually did have in the '70s, and I really was too young at the time to, you know, and not just too young, but what ends up happening when you're working, you're working. It's just that that whole saying about, you know. You know, things are fine when you have a job. When you don't have a job, it's a depression. And it's, it's so true. There's, there's no doubt about it. You know, there's just no doubt about it. So we're looking at the market. You know, the bottom line is that when we started here, this S&P, I mean, the Qs, this Q already, this, and this is early for this thing to start selling down. You know, we're talking about, what, 323? And the number that we're talking about is 283.24. And now we're 282.63. You know, this that does the same thing here, man. You know, this is building cause for lower price. Because would, would, when you come down as fast as we did last week, I mean, that was a fast move, man. You know, you're talking about going from 311 on the, the Qs all the way down to 269. Okay, so what do we have? 41 points, 43 points? That's, that's intense. And you can only go sideways, <laughs> and you have light volume. That's problematic, particularly in the aspect that we know that we do have two separate confirmed ABC structures on the way down. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today. You have Advanced Micro up 89 cents. We have Apple up 44. Amazon's up a buck 44. You get Facebook off uh, 24 cents. Ultra is down uh, four, $4. They're getting Jewel off the market. Thank God, save some lives. You get uh, Carnival up seven cents. Uh, Marbell's up forty-eight cents. Let's go inside the NDX one hundred and take a look at that. Inside the NDX, what you have? The strength. The Moderna is up five and a half percent. You got DocuSign up uh, five percent. Netflix is up four point eight. Mercado Libre is up four. Taken away from it. Penduodu down three point seven. You get Marriott off three. JD.com's down three, and Ross Stores is uh, off 2.6. Let's go to, I wanna go take a look at this Netflix for a second. So what's going on with Netflix? We are at 179. Well, not much here. Oh my God, look at this. Yeah, there's not much here at all. Let me show you something. This is interesting, MNS, when, 
you got, whoops, there we go, M and S T. So I, this morning I was on TD Ameritrade, and you know yeah, we do these three trades, and this is one of them that I picked out here this morning. It was Monster Beverage, because look at this. This is kind of intriguing, actually. So picture, you know, the high in January was 98. Well, we're at 90. But what had happened with Monster is this. Monster went all the way down to 71. And since the beginning of March, it's been going higher. So it's really intriguing in a bad market. They can even hold price. And the trust, there's only, there's only three stocks that I can find, folks, that could hold, it's four of them actually that could hold price. Stay right there, come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 43, Nasdaq's up 17, S&P's up 7.5. Uh, bottom line, the market's not holding out here. Uh, so Monster's one of them. Now, check this one out. This is pretty cool, folks, okay? Um, LW. LW, okay, you ready for some potatoes, man? <laughs> we park the car in the garage and eat potatoes, right? Okay, so this is Lamb Westing Holdings, right? Uh, bottom line, this is frozen potato products, uh, Fries, roasted potatoes, puffs, slices, all, all of that. Uh, this is kind of intriguing, though. It's the same type of setup when you're looking for stuff that has actually got smoked. And, uh, you know, this one hasn't, man. Uh, well, no, it's done the same thing. When I was hunting for stocks this morning, it's done the same thing. You can see that we this topped out also at 71 bucks, went down until bottom, middle of March. But someone's been buying it since the middle of March, man. You know, we have... So picture this. The way to look at this is this. We're down 1,100 S&P points from the high, and this is down, where's, where am I down? 
Yeah, this is down three points. Cause it, it, so I, I think what we have here, when, when you're looking at these, and I'm going to bring up one more after this, it's like, you know, managers, money managers have been getting into things. You know, this is definitely off most people's radar. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but you know what, 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 what I have found is that when these potatoes run and the eggs, remember the, the egg companies, when they run, man, they just keep running. Let's go take a look at uh, the, oh, then uh, Vertex Pharmaceutical, VRT's, uh, VRTX. This is also an equity um, that has held up pretty good. Uh, the difference is, is that this one topped out in April uh, at 292 or 272, but jammed all the way down to 233. But you can see this one here. This one here also looks like, hey, man, it's, it wants to basically try to bust this 279. And we'll see. What, what is it 279? Yeah, it's 276. 276. Uh, we'll see what we can get up uh, into that uh, space. Oh, and I love it. We got a tiger that worked there for 15 years. And this, uh, that is so cool, man. Yeah. I, well, I, I, of course, Irish and potatoes, we go together, man. I mean, in a big way. There's no doubt about it. Hey, I got to tell you a, a wild story. This is a, this is a, <laughs> this is, this is a pretty funny story, but. Okay, so potatoes, right? When I was, uh, 21, 22, oh, no, 20, no, I was like 28, 28 to about 30, right? I was flying around a lot of different places. That's when I was doing the bankrupt bonds. I was doing the tickets and all that, right? So we are always flying around. And one of the guys I did business with, right, his girlfriend um, would be with him a lot. So the bottom line would be in these different cities, right, and would, you know, eat lunch together, eat dinner together. And now, so picture this. This is like after that I know this woman for like, I don't know, at least like eight or nine months, right? We're, get, <laughs> we're, getting, um, we're getting lunch. And at that point, folks, I, I really love potatoes. I still love potatoes to this day. But when I've been on streaks of eating a, a potato, like for, I'm not exaggerating, like a year, two years, three years in a row, okay, every day, I have it at lunch. Bottom line, this is when I had the streak going. So what ends up happening, man? Um, she happened to be from England, right? Okay. And so we're in line and she's ahead of me. And so I ought to, they had those stuffed potatoes then and stuff. So I ought to the stuffed potatoes. I used to love them. She turned around to me and she says, I am so sick of you eating a potato every single day. <laughs> I looked at her like, oh no. And my body looked like, what is going on, man? And it's just, it's just so funny that one, like, deal could flip someone out so much. I mean, and, you know, we were still friends, but I looked at it like, oh, man, you got a problem, man. <laughs> anyway, that's, I, st I still eat potatoes, man. That's the bottom line. And, yeah, and I still can't pronounce them, I guess. But guess what? They're freaking awesome. Okay, market-wise out here, this is going to get intriguing because this is what this is going to do, man. This is... Flat out going to say once again, it can't hold price. You know, you got these cues right now. You know, bottom line, you're at uh, 281.37. And so, well, they, they can get a point. Well, let's ask you, let's go look at the futures. Let's see where we're going here. Let's take, we'll get this active contract. First, we're going to look at the E minis. Okay, so we take these E minis. Well, the, you know what? I should have done this first. See, they, 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 we're going lower. The high volume, we got a high volume load. That, that was established at that 12, 12 noon. 37.58, man, that we're going after it. Yep. And you can see the last bar got an acceleration. See that? We hit, we hit a high out here with uh, 24,000 contracts. Last bar just had 23,000. That's not bad. We're coming into 39,000. But it's going to go after that. If we take a look at the NQs. Oh, 
Okay, so the NQs, look at they're already there. It, it's, you know what's so cool, folks? Okay, once you're on to the NQs, lead it up and down. You can see the, we, the NQs get that high volume low at 11,567. I know, I'm talking about 11,320, right? No, no. What is it? No, 567. 567. And right now you're at uh, 581. Same thing. The expansion of it, and if we break that, the bottom line is that you know, you know, you can. Yeah, that's where we're going. I know where we're going. Okay, see this bar, that first 9:30 bar, that should slow things down there. But that 9:30 bar this morning is 5:26, so we're at 5:80. 5:26 is game in the NQs. We take a look at the Nasdaq. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the big bar that lifted us off the bottom this morning. That's how this thing is going to shake out, I suspect. Okay. Where's my volume on this, baby? Hmm. Okay, so... 58,000, 930. That's... Okay, so that price there is 3719 who if we hit that on the who that would be quite a close man <laughs> on the uh, S&P it's 3719 if we dump like that man you, know, you you that is telling us how weak this market is you know if you're listening to Tommy's show this morning he was talking about that this is the fastest down in six months since the 70s. Since the 70s, okay? That is like unbelievable. And you know, what is what has happened, well, yeah, I'll give you an idea. What, this morning when I was on TD Ameritrade, they, they, they do this program live from the New York Stock Exchange, right? So what they, they had a, you know, trader there and, you know, ask them, do you buy the dip? Do you sell? What do you do? And you got to understand that all the specialists there, of course, they only want you to buy, right? So the bottom line is that, you know, he's saying, no, you know, but he was explaining the difference between, the, well, this is what he's doing. He did a good job. He was explaining the difference between a trader and an investor. And he was explaining that, you know, a trader has to get things much more right than an investor. Because it's like, oh, if, you have, if you have, you know, if you're frost in sale, which the market's in, on sale, there's no doubt, that, you know, you have to come in at some point. My point is that when this market bottoms, folks, there's going to be no one that is saying, I want to buy. That's just how it goes. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. Levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 10. Nasdaq's off 23. S&Ps are off 2.5. Yeah, we have the chart up. Uh, thanks, Tommy, for sending that in there. Um, so, this is the worst first half since 1970. And this is as of the June 21st close, folks. s and is down 21%. Last time that happened was in 1970. Uh, bottom line, yeah. And in fact, when you uh, look at the aspect of how many times you're down in the last 20 years, it's not much. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That's pretty wild. So, then you can see how markets basically always go up until they go down <laughs> because this chart for 20 oh not 20 years oh my god you're talking 50 years um just about every one of those um bars are up so pretty pretty intense there's no doubt about that and the um the acceleration of it uh of this move lower oh did i just close this how did i do that Shame on me. Okay. Is there someone on the phone now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, who, who do we have? Hello? Hey, Tom. It's John from Oakland, Michigan. How are you John, doing? John, how you doing, man? You know what happened? I just, clo I just closed my message. How you been, man? I am doing well, Tom. I have not been able to call you because of work, but I had surgery today. Okay. And the last time I called you was the day your grandson, Tommy, had that little boy. Tom Jr. February second. Perspective. I know. love it. Well, how, so, how are you doing? Anyway, good. Today I had to have some surgery, so I'm home, and I always listen to your show after the fact. I can't listen to it live. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. So I can't call you, but you know, you've you've got that new look. I got to comment. You look. You are definitely Professor Tom. Okay, <laughs> you're definitely Professor Tom. I'm still you trying know. to find myself, man. <laughs> you, I'll tell you, you 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 are always on the money, <laughs> and. Uh, what really made me call today was when you talked about potatoes. And, I, you know, that's such a Boston expression. I'm, I'm a New Yorker. Yeah. And I went to college in Boston. I was in Kenmore Square was where my dorm was. I love it. At Graham Junior College. Yeah. out of business now. Yeah. But that was what pe people from Boston would always say, potatoes, you know. I know. And I just love that when you said that. <laughs> I about jumped out of my chair. I you know, it's so funny, man. Long. We don't even know the difference. That's the thing that's like, wow. And then, of course, I, I do now. And, you know, as soon as people hear the accent, and particularly, you know, it's amazing. It, well, it, when you're from South Boston anyway, you really got a big accent. Because I've been in Florida now for 25 years. But yeah, it doesn't make yeah. any difference. Well, one of my, one of my best friends in, in uh, Boston was from South Boston, from the South. His name was Bob McCarthy. Okay. And uh, he used to use that, uh, potatoes also, you know, so I never forgot that. It must have been fun but going anyway. to school in Boston, right? <laughs> it, I said it must have been fun going to school in Boston, right? Oh, it was. I'll tell you, it's, if I could live anywhere, yeah. I would want to live there yeah. again. You know, I just, I loved Massachusetts, the Cape, the coast, going I know. Up to, you know, Route 1 up to Newburyport, to, you know, just, yeah. there's just so much about New England. That you, and especially, you, you know, the the country, that whole you know. back bay, folks, okay, where, where John yep. went to school, it yep. was a kid's haven. I mean, I remember we were, I mean, Marlboro Street, right? They used to yep. block That's streets right. off, Street. folks, oh, yeah. so we could have fun. <laughs> it, it 
it really was. You know, it was just like you had Boston University was up the street. Yep. You had all these little girls' colleges down uh, Beacon Street and Commonwealth oh, yeah. Avenue. Mostly Commonwealth Avenue. Yep. And uh, it, it was just, you know, a great place to, to be a young person. I, I was 17 when I went away to college, if you can imagine that. Oh, I, this, I was in the Marines at 17, so I can. Yeah, so you can, ima <laughs> you can imagine that. But it's a, anyway, it's a me, beautiful thing. That's right. Some shop here. I, you know, you've been talking about the markets going down, like Tommy pointed out this morning, so yep. fast, you know, since the 70s. Right. With the dollar, you, you've, you've termed, if most people don't know it, if they can't measure it, don't, that you termed it king dollar. I look at all these commodities, you know, uh, and everything is kind of on the downside. Look at it the is. soybeans today, off 39 points. The f energies are down. The, go the gold is down only a dollar. Silver's down 31 cents. And cop is, is getting killed. keeping these things down because the dollar keeps going up? Is it, does it have that much power right now? Um, I think... What we have is that, I mean, you can see the copper market's getting hit pretty hard out here today. Yeah, I was going to mention that also. Yeah, and, nine cents, I think it's off. And the, what I would say what you have more than anything is that there's plenty of folks that are in the marketplace that haven't really been in a marketplace that rates continue to keep going up. And yeah, yeah. that may be getting more cognizant now with a lot more folks that are running money. Because yeah, yeah. everything does go down, you know. Kind of we've been talking about it, John. That I think everything is going to get reset. Like a like so. Picture I'm driving to work this morning, and I'm saying to myself, "Well, wow, this is a real trip, right? I, I'm in this market. I'm in the real estate market. I know that I'm going to take a twenty percent hit. I mean, I, I'm good with it because I've consolidated so much, and thank God I moved some stuff out, and I moved a huge amount out. But I'm I'm laughing. I'm saying to myself, okay. I'm all, I feel so lucky, folks. The reason I feel so lucky, I've seen so many cycles. If I was 30 or even 45 or 50, it would be very hard for me to say, oh, yeah, everything's going to go down, man. Like, because I, can, I remember when I couldn't even understand why everything would go down. You know, yeah. so it, it, to me right now, I have to keep going back to this deal that, you know, we're in a credit society. And we're in a credit yeah. society, you're... Basically, as you accumulate in assets, it's how much credit you have as you can accumulate, right? And mm -hmm. bottom line, when, when, I, when you get a, an asset, when you get rates going up, we all have less credit. So that has to bring the GDP down. I mean, I, I know how many people I employ, and, and it's a huge amount of people. And we're kind of lucky because I stopped moving so quick last November. I've been moving since November. And... You know, to now, and I got a whole new thing happening, and we're we're going to be cool. But that's only because, when well, hopefully we're going to be cool. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and yeah. and that's only because I moved so quick. But if this was thirty years ago, it wouldn't have happened, man. I was like, hey, it's got to go up. What are you talking about? Everyone's got to live somewhere. You hear all the raps, man. Yeah, it's yeah, you know, yeah. and it just doesn't work that way. Do you know what I mean? So. Well, you know that point you made about when you bought that house in Southie? Right. That, I'll tell you, my friend Bob McCarthy, I remember those three deckers. Yeah. You know? And uh, like, you know, you said 14% interest, but it was only 14000 Exactly. Exactly. You really nailed that, you know? And so, yeah, when you do these numbers, stay, like, see, the houses I sell today, the houses I sell today, they average 960000 I'm saying to myself, how do they even buy them? That's the bottom line. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, exactly, and I've sold yeah. a lot of them. And I just sold another one three weeks ago, and I only have one left, and I don't care whether I rent it or sell it. But yeah. when you start talking that kind of money, it's like, what? Like, are you really going to pay even, you know, 7% on that? That's that's a fortune, man. But I, I know, you know, I, I, I later moved to Boston, Tom. Yes. Um, for business back in 1977, I think it was, okay. 75, 77. And I rented a house. Yeah. And that house today is worth $975,000. I know. <laughs> All right, listen. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. Thank you so much, Tom, for doing this show every day. Well, thanks for calling, man. Have a great one. We're going to send you some white light. Get you good. Get you good real quick, man. Thanks, Thank John. Thank you very much.
Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Bye bye. You too. Stay right there, folks. Sharpening we'll right your back. skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 55. We get the NASDAQ up 13. S&Ps are up 7.5. And, and the bottom line, folks, is that uh, you get over there, you can have a failure in price, Failure on volume inside these queues. We'll see where we should stay uh, with the uh, the spy. Right now, two eighty two thirty four is the number. Right now, you're two eighty one sixty seven. You get fifty nine uh, million shares, and you're going into ninety four million. We go and say we look at the spy. What do we have with the spy out here? Spy right now is up sixty four cents, and. This is pretty wild, actually. 377. 377.94. Yeah, you get a failure there, too. The bottom line is that uh, you did 104. You're at 73. The thing that's intriguing about the SPY now, the SPY, the SPY can't even hold the high of yesterday. You're going to have more volume. I mean, we're at 76. We're at 73 million. 76 was yesterday. Um, the bottom line, folks, is that if you have the out of time in the trade and you take a look at building cause, this is building cause. And you're building cause for lower price. You gotta remember something. The market's all about energy. So the way that we had come down, I mean, this is fast, furious, all of the above. Um, you know, bottom line, you get these sideways moves. They're very dangerous, man. The sideways move, if I, you know, the first time that I caught on to cause, I'm going back, oh my God, it's like 1996, seven or whatever. 
And it took me like three years to really understand it because number one, I didn't have enough patience saying, what, is it gonna build cars for six months before it goes anywhere? Well, once you really start to understand it and you understand that, you know, six years, I mean, three months, five months, 10 months, not, none of that is that long, really, okay? And then you really start to understand that, oh man, okay, we're building cars. And once you really, and you gotta, you, you, realistically, you're looking at a lot of charts to really understand, okay, where are we building cars? To go up or to go down? Well, it has to do with where the volume is. But building cars is like working out. You work out, you work out, and then boom! When you come into it, man, it's fast and furious. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off at 9 o'clock in the morning. Send some white light out to John. We're going to make him better in Michigan. It's a beautiful thing. Have a great one, folks. Look at him.